Good morning people, so we leaving back where this morning. Another day, another anchorage. This one not so flashy. <laughs> but yeah, we're holding ass right now. For this old lady, we are holding ass. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 miles journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. Good morning people, so we leaving back where this morning. Uh, it's been an epic time here, yeah? um, it hasn't been a long time but it's been a good time. The water is amazing here, yeah? even in the anchorage, super super clean water. I wish we had filmed more in town when we were doing a couple of things, we got a couple of veggies, went around, did one or two things, went to go see the little turtle sanctuary, so it was really nice, but there was just no means of like us having our own independent transport you gotta use this it's not like a taxi service flatbed pick pickup with like a cover shade and two benches on the side that's like the local transport and there's two prices there's the tourist price and there's the local price that we found out so yeah you don't be shy to haggle a little i mean the prices weren't extremely cheap they weren't crazy expensive but they weren't cheap i mean it was good to see different setup definitely catering for the guys that like to go do the restaurants they got some beautiful restaurants out here really really nice spots the restaurants were really good so if you enjoy restaurants and you want to sit on your boat and chill for like a week or so Beckway is definitely a spot for that beautiful scenery lovely water lovely free diving small fish nothing huge um, but she's pretty she's very pretty but we're going to start up, we're going to head from here to St. Vincent and that will be our next port where we do our clearing and hopefully go to St. Martin. So we're looking forward to that. Um, we've wanted to go to St. Martin for a while. So that's finally happening. But let me give you a quick little view of the bay and how busy it is. So that's what the big demand is, those guys there. Two ships. And then there's a lot of sailboats everywhere. This bay is full, full. We came in at night and we snuck in between the morning balls. Not always advisable, but there's not that many people on this particular area. But you can see it is covered with sailboats everywhere. Ferry terminals literally run non-stop. I can't believe how many ferries they run into here. And I believe they're all coming from St. Vincent, which is crazy. So people hop on their cars in St. Vincent, bring the ferry across, climb off there, go to the island, so that maybe they're like their breakaway island. But that's Beckway. It was epic, it was good. We had a fun time, and we're gonna get moving on. Got a nice soft sailing north, which is good with all the northeast blowing. So, can be chilled. Let's get sailing. The sail from Beckway to St. Vincent is roughly 15 nautical miles. So because of the northeasterlies, oh that's fishing nets. Oh uh, it could be lobster pods. So because of the northeasterlies, you go up a little bit on the leeward side. And we just get a better angle to the next island then we don't have to tack and tack and tack and tack and tack to do a five mile crossing. Seas are like a washing machine today. Man, feeling all green in the gills. But it's because I was there sitting reading. Uh -huh. Sorry. 
Yeah. Ricky doesn't feel sorry for me now. We left today because the small needs only get bigger. Woo! arrived in St. Vincent. We are here in Blue Lagoon Bay. But I mean it's what do you think about the anchorage? Nah, not so good. Not so good? Uh-uh. And everything's on mooring balls. Yeah. yeah, everything's on mooring balls because the anchoring like you're constantly swinging. So everyone just takes mooring balls. But from what we read, the whole of St. Vincent is like this. So we're gonna throw out a secondary anchor from our stern just to make sure that we don't go out too much that way because it's very, very shallow. So we put our secondary anchor out. So how we put our secondary anchor out is I release small chain, went up to 30 meters. Um, that we pulled back, Ricky threw it, and then once it set in, I pulled in the excess chain, and uh, yeah, and now we're good. Okay, send it. This island looks pretty big so we're probably gonna have to rent a scooter if we want to see much of it because all the anchorages are pretty much not the greatest so I think maybe it's better we stay in one spot yeah, and a get a scooter and check it out and then lift up anchor and head off to Martinique another day another anchorage this is not so flashy <laughs> Ricky and I are feeling a bit peckish so we'll get, I'm just going to grab some chicken nuggets out of the freezer and make some chicken nuggets as a snack. And then we'll have lunch a little bit later. After eating our chicken nuggies, we headed off to see St. Vincent and figure out where to check out. We opted to kind of skip St. Vincent as bad weather was approaching, which means we would get stuck here for two weeks. So we opted to rather head off and sail to Martinique. Ricky and I are heading off to Kingston to go to Immigration and Customs so we can clear out of St. Vincent and then we'll go up north, anchor off there, relax, get some work done. I need to edit, Ricky needs to do some boat work. That's what he says. And then, uh, yeah, then we're going to head off to Martinique. So, yeah, we got to grab a, a bus to get to, to the... This would be the best spot to get a bus to Blue Lagoon. All checked out. Kingstown, baby. All checked <laughs> out, ready to head out. Hey? Yeah. Rock and roll. Maybe, where do you think we'll get a bus? I don't know where we got one last time. So we checked out of St. Vincent. Um, we couldn't show you guys obviously the process because it's government buildings and all that stuff But it was pretty quick and easy No hassles, so we had to go into Kingston to do that because there wasn't an immigration officer here at Blue Lagoon So we had to do that and uh, Yeah, now we're going up to either Chateau or Cumberland Bay and um, we're just going to anchor off there for the night, watch movies, catch some sleep, and then we'll head off to Martinique with a stop, most likely, 99% most likely. We're going to stop off in 
St. Lucia, just anchoring off for a night's rest. We bummed that we're gonna miss St. Lucia, but with all the COVID tests and agency fees and check-in fees and everything, it's gonna end up being super expensive. So we have to be selective on what islands we choose to go to. If we go to Martinique, we get to stay in the French bubble and do all the French islands without having to do continuous COVID tests. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. And that over there is Kingstown St. Vincent. Quite densely populated. It's a beautiful island. It's moving up to the bay coming up front here. We're just going to anchor there for the night and then tomorrow off to Martinique. The sail from Blue Lagoon to Chateau Belay, where we'd be anchoring overnight en route to Martinique, was 22 nautical miles. It was a very wet sail as well. I feel like we're sailing in Namibia again. We can't see nothing. Everything's foggy and it's raining. But it's warm. But it's at least warm. Ish. Warmish. Chef, what's for lunch today? <laughs> that line will provide us the tuna. Hopefully. I, I could do it some fresh fish. The frustration when it comes to fishing is definitely starting to kick in. We haven't managed to catch any fish since we've arrived in the Caribbean. We however did see all the cool shooting spots for Pirates of the Caribbean along the way. We opted to stay in Chateau Belay for the night just because there were more boats around meaning the holding wasn't too bad. Good morning everyone, so it's half past six in the morning and we're getting ready to leave the most northern bay of St. Lucia, I mean of St. Vincent, headed to St. Lucia and then the next morning to Martinique. We've got about 15 nautical miles of sailing today and we're going to spend the evening in Rodney Bay. But let me show you where we came in. How magical is this place? Some other boats here with us, they came in last night and the moon's still up. The volcano, one well, that just erupted soon, recently. Toasted them trees. St. Lucia is putting them in the water. Who's, pu who's putting them? St. Lucia. I'll have to have a chat with them. How do you know it's St. Lucia? I think it, it could be like from maybe all the trees looks, that are here. This looks like a St. Lucia log. Yes, that thing is big. Yeah. It's a big log. Oh, flying! Oh, ladies, 
knots. 7.4 knots. We got our, our Genoa up, we got our first reef in the Genoa, and then uh, hopefully the wind doesn't go too much. <laughs> But yeah, we're holding ass right now. For this old lady, we are holding ass. the second reef in our Genoa now and we're still holding us. <laughs> what speeds are we doing? 7 knots, 7.6. Woo! Always add a pinch of salt to the forecast. So. Why? Eh? Did you not predict this? They said maximum 21 knots. We've seen 28, 29. While sailing, we saw something above the surface. We tried to slow down, but no such luck. We almost ran over a pilot whale. Luckily, he got a fright and immediately descended. Shit. We should still get in the water. Hop, jump in! Isn't he going to hook on your lines? You were going too fast, telling you to slow down. Yeah, I didn't get any of it. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there he goes. Stay tuned till next week as we sail into the French island of Martinique. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.